all right so what i did was um i changed the i'm actually playing in my room now but before i actually start again uh i just wanted to say um the reason why i'm actually playing in my room is that i noticed from the previous videos is that when i was actually playing in the basement it kind of looks really dark like from the screen and then um uh, it can kind of get too bright when i turn the lights on down in the basement so i decided to play in my room from now on because uh, in my opinion, uh, it's not too bright and it's not too dark. And in my, and also, I think that from my perspective, it actually looks just right. So <laughs> that's just kind of right, as I just noticed that when I actually said that. But it's it's not too bright, it's not too dark, and it's not too bright, and it uh, looks just right on the camera. So because when it kind of gets too dark, it kind of the camera will just kind of unfocus for some reason. But we're about to kind of, I'm actually going to try to head back to Traverse Town, but let's see what's going on here. So Source says, I think my magic is as good as Donald's now. No way, not in a million years. Why don't you go see Merlin? Work on, work more on your magic. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum, so we got a new tournament now. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. Nice, another tournament, so I can probably just uh, spend a while just playing the same tournament over and over to level up a little bit more. So, I can go back to the Coliseum via Warp Drive, but I want to go back to Traverse Town. Cause I don't know what to actually expect from the tournament so it could be like new weapons available in the the weapon shop and the accessory stop shop as well at Huey Dewey and Louie's uh, shop so I think this will be the best decision for now before I even bother going to the the tournament that the new tournament that's actually being held at the Coliseum so I'll just go to the accessory shop. They say a boy won the tournament coupon. I am the boy who won the tournament. <laughs> Oh, that's all he says. But here the shop. So I don't I don't really think it's anything new. I don't have the chaos ring. I wanna try and buy this to see what it the only thing I hate you can't try these uh these these items on each of the characters like uh, when you know if you guys ever played this guy before you can actually try out the new weapons and you don't actually necessarily have to buy them but you can try out the weapons on your separate characters on from the Disgaea series because I'm a big fan of this guy and I actually played all of them but uh, it just makes me think of that how you can actually try out the new weapons or any accessories and armor on the characters before buying them and see how see if they either approve the improve the stats or they just kind of make them even worse so it just sucks that you can't do it on this, but this, then again, this is a, a different game, way different from uh, this guy. So I'm trying to think, should I buy this chaos ring and see what happens? I'm gonna, just, I'll buy one, and then if it doesn't really work too good on any of the characters, then I'll just sell it back. So I'll just buy one for now and see what happens. Oops, why did I go to items for some reason? So first thing first, I wanna see what this uh I should sell some of this. This is um I just gotta keep captain up in here. This is just this will just lower his AP. I wonder how it fits for Nope, it'll just lower his defense. So that's useless. I 
it's really useless. Like it doesn't work. It just um, uh, well, it slightly raises his max AP, but his AP will go down by two, and he'll bring his defense up. But I want to keep his AP up because I want to give him to. Uh, I want to actually keep the keep his AP high enough so he can equip more abilities. Because I'm actually trying to get uh, the second win ability, which I think is going to be really useful to recover out of the knockout status pretty fast. So, but I just forgot to sell that back to him, but I'm going to stop by Huey, Dewey, and Louie's uh, weapon shop first. The item shop before I head back up there to sell that little chaos ring back. So what do they have? The new weapons. We have the silver mallet and the war hammer. Notice that it says reduces max MP by one for both of them, which I don't want. So I might just stick to the Magnus staff. Maybe it's more powerful because I do want a damaging staff, but the staffs for Diamond's all about magic. So maybe I should buy the Golem Shield. A large shield best suited for defense, but also an effective weapon. So. I want to see what kind of shield he has first, because I don't want to, I actually don't remember what I bought, oh, the Gygus Fist, and he has the Magnus Death. So, I'm going to see what this Golem Shield does, because... Well, I'll just buy the Golem Shield and the Silver Mallet. I know it reduces MP by one, but it might be just as good. I just spent a lot of money. There goes most of my money right then and there. See, look at that. I knew it. I had. I knew it had something to do with like strength. I didn't mean to block it there, but it brings his strength up, and he, his only his magic would just be down by one. So I can pretty much probably get his magic back up there from uh, leveling up at the tournament and everything so versus the Magnus step that I actually have I think it's gonna be good so I'll take it and the golem shit was a waste a complete waste it's completely useless compared to it's really inferior to the Gygus shield or the Gygus fist so I'll just give that back No items, what? I'm trying to sell those uh, weapons. I guess you gotta, in order to sell weapons, you just go to the stock. So, I'll sell that. And notice how I bought the weapon for 1,000, and when I want to sell it back to him, they only, he'll only buy it for 100. How funny is that? And this Chaos Ring that I just bought, I might as well sell it back to him anyway, so. How am I doing on items? I got 33 potions, 20 high potions, and 9 others. I haven't used any of the tents at all. I wish he was actually selling elixirs because I really want to buy more of those. But I think I can actually make those by synthesizing with that Moogle. So I'll probably do that also. 20 is plenty though. That's plenty enough to get by. I still want to just buy a couple. Buy like five more additional ones. I wonder if I got, do I have any like items that I can sell? You know, rare items that I came upon in treasure chests? 
And since I don't need some of these items, I'm just gonna give him this white fan for like 500 and this brave warrior. I don't need him since I don't actually equip him. I should just sell all of these pretty much. I think I will. Instead of just having them just sit there, take up space. Oh, I got another protection. Oh, I have four of them. Look at this. I saw four of them. There you go. Now I got more money. So maybe I can buy some more other stuff. Those tents could be useful though, but what's the point of using the tent if you if I eventually run into like a save point? And I just find these based off of the treasure chest. I'll just buy some others. I think that'll be pretty useful. Buy some five others. So I got 14 others. Just on the shopping spree. So I want to find that Moogle now. I'm trying to remember where he was. So I definitely want to be prepared for whatever I have to face for the tournament. Um, was he in here or was he up here? Because I got this high jump now. I just realized I can reach higher places now since I got this high jump ability. Whoa. I think that Moogle was downstairs in this uh, accessory shop. Yeah, he's up here. I knew it. I was like, he had to be in the accessory shop. Because I remember uh, bringing this ladder down with the Trinity ability. Thanks for helping us make so many items, Koopo, but... We want to make even more unusual items, Koopa. Be sure to look. Be sure to look everywhere you go for items. Here he is. That's what I want. I wanted the elixir, so I can make more. For sure, but I'll just do this off screen. <laughs> 